Hello everyone, thanks for watching. This is Griffin's Comic Book Picks for the week of uh, October 8th, 2014. Got all sorts of interesting things that are happening this week. Uh, a lot of cool stuff with Amazing Spider-Man, with Batman, and some really awesome independents. Let's get into it with Marvel first. Alright guys, yeah, Marvel's got some all sorts of fun stuff happening this week. I'm going to give a shout out to Hawkeye vs. Deadpool. This is number one of four, I believe. Number zero already came out. New Thanos little mini-series. Thanos got up there listening. First one's out this week. Alright, big book with Marvel this week. The Amazing Spider-Man, number seven. Now this is real cool because there's going to be a team-up with Miss Marvel, who's just been awesome. Plus, this is the kickoff of the uh, Spider-Verse. So, if you've been reading Edge of the Spider-Verse, this is the book where it's all going to tie in with Amazing Spider-Man. And we're going to see all this crazy interdimensional action that's going to come down Spider-Man's way. All right, and the big event for Marvel this uh, fall, Axis. It's starting right now. Avengers and X-Men, Axis number one. So, this is essentially the Red School. He's got a hold of Onslaught's armor. Got a hold of Charles Xavier's brain, and he is going to town on the entire planet. Really cool. Rick Remender is the author for this, and uh, it's like right out one of his other sci-fi monster books. It's like a monster battle here. It's really cool. I'm excited. DC is also coming out with a bunch of interesting titles, notably uh, Earth 2, World's End number 1. This is a cool book about, it uh, gives a quick history of Earth 2. Also about the beginning of the end of it. It looks like Darkseid is coming to take down this version of DC. Clarion, Witch Boy, number one, is also out this week. Let's see, uh, I would best sum this up. If you're a fan of Constantine or Justice League Dark, I think you'll enjoy this book. Big one for DC this week is Batman number 35. All right. So this is the start of Endgame. A new Scott Snyder story arc. Uh, this is the beginning of it. And it's looking nuts here. Um, I really don't want to give any spoilers, but it's like Batman versus everyone, it seems. Wow. All right, well, let's talk about some independent books. Uh, speaking of Snyder, his book here, Witches, uh, being brought to us by Image Comics. Uh, the art's done by an individual named Jock. I gotta say, y'all, this book is awesome. It is incredible. I am really looking forward to this to this whole series. Uh, Really great modern American horror. You've got to check it out. Image is also bringing out a couple of other interesting titles, notably Birthright, number one here. This is real cool. It's uh, just $2.99. It is like an extra-sized here issue. This is a big issue. Uh, real cool a story about a young man who looks like he's thrust into kind of a high fantasy world all of a sudden, where he might, in fact, be king. Thus the name Birthright. Garth Ennis is at it again with Avatar. He's bringing us War Stories, Castles in the Sky, number one. Now, I've enjoyed um, Ennis' other War Stories books. Real graphic, typically all based around uh, World War II. This is uh, looks like it's going to be based around a lot of the uh, sky battles in the European theater. And for those of you who are fans of the Aliens vs. Predator stuff that's been coming out, Fire and Stone continues with uh, Aliens vs. Predator number one. We've also we've already had uh, Aliens and then Prometheus coming out. Both of those are really cool. Haven't read this through this one all the way yet, but I was real pleased with the other two uh, series that started. And just flipping through right now, the art's real awesome. I am really looking forward to seeing some Predators and Aliens just go to town on each other. That will be fun. All right, we've got a couple of cool trade paperbacks that are out this week. A couple number ones from Marvel, She-Hulk and Captain Marvel. Both are new series starting out. we got the first trades for those. Really awesome. But I'm exceptionally excited about Lock and Key number six, the last book of Lock and Key, finally in its trade form. What an awesome series. Good timing here for Halloween. Talk about great horror. And this one. East of West, now out in the third trade. Oh, Hickman's just been killing it here with East of West. If you're a fan of post-apocalyptic story, or I'm sorry, apocalyptic, sci-fi, western-type stories, highly recommend East of West. It is so good. All right, everybody, thanks a lot for watching. Really appreciate it. I'd like to remind you to like, comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel here if you want to keep watching these and all the other cool stuff that we offer. Um, yeah. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.